Hi Freedom Family, welcome back to another episode of the Freedom Hot Seat. Welcome back everybody, hi! Today we have another Freedom Partner that does a lot of gaming, a lot of vlogs, and a lot of other types of content. So Freedom Family, let's go and meet him. Freedom Family, let me introduce Cephas Red Versus. Hi everybody in the Freedom Community, as you know my name is Cephas Red. Um, I'm very happy to be here right now and I want to say thank you to Noel for introducing me. Very happy to be in the Freedom Hot Seat this week. So stoked to, uh, to share with you guys about my channel, about my videos, and basically tell you a little bit about myself and what my mission is. For those who don't know, I am a gaming channel, I'm also a vlogging channel as well. My games uh, range around from action and adventure all the way to horror, suspense, thriller, uh, maybe some puzzle mini games here and there. Vlogging channel basically is me having a conversation with you guys, letting you know about all the different things and events that are happening and keeping you all updated and keeping you all inclusive with everything that's happening with this channel. Cephas Red Versus is an amazing content creator that does not give up in the face of adversity. He enjoys sharing his content to other people. He believes that getting the community engaged or interacted with you should be the ultimate goal of any YouTuber. He also wants to share to his audiences that he loves connecting to people via livestream. Also, he does share his thoughts, emotions, and of course, a part of his life to everyone in his audience via vlogs. With that being said, let's get to know him better. Hi Cephas, I hope you're doing awesome today. My first question to you is, what's the story behind your channel? The story behind the channel is that my friend and I, my friend's name who is Tightskin, who shows up in my videos here and there, we were discussing about doing something in regards to maybe podcasting or recording videos and things like that. But that wasn't until 2006, uh, 2007, about a year after YouTube was uh, launched and created and that's when I found PewDiePie basically and you know everybody already has right <laughs> and you know it was all thanks to PewDiePie and his gaming that got me hooked on to maybe getting myself involved in the gaming community too and even though with that being said I still didn't actually st start until 2012 because I didn't have the equipment at that time but I still loved watching all of those videos uh, gaming videos from PewDiePie and also from other uh, users as well like Cinnamon Toast Ken and especially Mark Markiplier as well. And Markiplier is one of my main influences to, of doing my own channel as well because of his amazing announcer voice. I wanted to create a gaming channel that was family friendly, that didn't concentrate so much on cursing and swearing in the commentary, and rather just focusing on the gameplay itself. I can honestly say that uh, when 2014 came around, that was when I found out that YouTube was an absolute thing that you can actually, you know, make money with and actually make it a, make it a full time commitment and you can make videos and, and gaming and all that cool stuff and that was me that that's what I wanted to do one thing I, I did want to mention that it wasn't about the money it was the fact that I wanted to entertain people me being an actor myself a fully credited actor I just love the aspect of entertainment I would loved entertaining other people whether they make them laugh cry you know get oh scared or something like that you know that was a big thing for me I loved it I always love it I told you freedom family Cephas Red is a very passionate person who loves the community who who loves his audiences. He will keep doing what he's doing as long as you guys are being entertained. What steers you or motivate you every day to make great content? What steers me every morning to create amazing videos is the fact that I love sharing what I have with everyone watching me. I've always believed in co-op games. I've always believed in entertaining and sharing my experience with others. When it came to just playing games in itself, playing horror games or things like that on my own, it didn't seem like it was enough, like I wasn't really enjoying myself to the fullest. I liked having someone there beside me, like my, my buddy uh, my buddy Tyson. And oh man, just the experience of having another person there at sharing a reaction, it's absolutely phenomenal. I love it. And so like being able to do this here on YouTube, because like for me, I'm not just talking to a camera. I'm talking to like thousands of people who may be watching this right now. I love, love sharing my experience. I love bringing, uh, you know, life to to the games that I'm playing, the commentary. It's the fact that I get to entertain you guys and play some really awesome games. Maybe not so awesome games, but the fact is, is that commentary is commentary. Reaction is reaction. And if I can share that with you guys and I get some sort of emotional reaction, that's what makes me want to create more and more videos. Interaction and having your community in mind is one of the key characteristics of any YouTuber. Cephas Red, don't lose your love for the community, okay? Cephas Red versus what are the goals for your channel? My goals for the channel is basically try and be the best that I can be. I can basically influence other people to say, hey, you know, I can do this as well. Because if I can do this, anyone can. I started off with a piece of crap camera, with a piece of crap 
editing program you know you got to start somewhere right well also a piece of crap microphone not this guy it was like one of those old um, stick like uh, microphones that's where that's where it all began but yeah I want to influence others to say that hey you know this is what I want to do then do it you know and my goals for the channel are basically to do amazing things like collaboration with uh, with a whole bunch of other youtubers and the goal for this channel is to make a difference for the good of all people. Like, I know that Markiplier and Jacksepticeye are two great examples of people who are trying to change the world for the better. And that's me as well. I want to show what I can do to this world to give them hope, to give them inspiration, to give them influence, to do something great. That's my biggest goals for the channel. I want to show everybody that I can be the best that I can be for just being who I am and not being, not forcing myself to be someone that I'm not. Freedom Family, here's your chance to make collaboration videos with Cephas Red Versus. Don't forget to check out his channel. You have been doing a lot of wonderful content in the past six years. How did you manage to get your channel to what it is right now? One, diligence. Two, determination. Three, never giving up. And four, trying new things. I know there's gonna be a lot of times where you're probably gonna wonder like, hey, you know, is this working? Should I try something else? Yes, do that. Always keep trying things, whether it's like playing one game or it's playing another game, like, I actually never really thought about doing any kind of vlogging other than just gaming. And then I realized it's like, you know what, I kind of want to involve the community a bit more. So, vlogging came in. And then, not only that too, I wanted to involve them even more. So then comes reading your comments, Q&As, things like that. Always involve new things. Don't stop at just one thing and think that's the best thing you can do. Always try more because you want to involve the community. Bring them in. That's the secret of it. How I managed to get the channel where it is right now? Basically, just keep trying. Keep doing. Never, ever give up. I may only have almost 4,200 subscribers and it's taken me six years to get to that point. But it doesn't mean that I'm never going to give up. It may be rising up slowly, but it's getting there. And that's what you got to do too is just keep on getting on because in the end, it'll all be worth it. The biggest thing too is how I managed to get the channel where I am right now is basically just be yourself and have fun with it. And that's the number one thing. Have fun with, with what you're doing. You don't want to be forced to do something and there's no passion behind it. It'll just fall to pieces. That's what will happen with it. Don't be stuck, Freedom Family, with just one type of content. Be flexible and keep trying new things for your audiences and also always always have fun when you're doing it what are the things in your channel that is helping you grow i'm involving the community i'm keep having energy in my videos try to keep everything having fun of course i've already mentioned this before i'm not talking to a camera i'm talking to an audience inside that little camera right there for you guys to listen to me is absolutely heartwarming and that you're taking time out of your busy day to listen to me. I'm trying different games, I'm trying different kinds of equipment in order to see what sticks, what doesn't, and moving on from that. As you know, I'm doing live streams as well. I haven't done live streams in a long, long time and tried them out, people are liking them, so why not keep going with that, right? Don't stop with just one thing. You've gotta expand. That's what I think I'm doing right anyway, is involving the community, making sure that like we're having as much fun as possible, and that we're keeping everything open so that People can ask questions, they can uh, they can request games, and basically get involved in the comment section down below, and the community as well. There's a quote that I remember from Steve Martin. Be so good they can't ignore you. Remember that. Community involvement is very important. Never ever exclude your community. Make them feel special and engaged because they will reward you in ways that you do not expect. What advice can you give to our audiences that can help them out with their channel? Find some sort of uniqueness in yourself that you can bring to you. My unique self is being relatable, not loud as everybody, and also being family friend to the point where I'm not cursing or swearing. That's my thing. You need to bring something that's unique to yourself and what you can bring that's unique to YouTube. With that uniqueness, have fun with it. Create. It doesn't matter if it's for gaming, for vlogging, for makeup, for anything at all. Be you. Be unique. Everyone is unique in their own way. Don't be afraid to display that uniqueness to your videos. Like what I said in my previous video, don't be afraid to be yourself. If you are goofy like me, be goofy. If you are loud, 
be loud. Thank you so much, Cephas Red Versus, for those amazing answers. Now is your time to shine. All right, everybody, thank you so much for your time. My name is Cephas Red. It's been wonderful to sharing with you guys about myself, my channel, and the things to come here. But I also want to say thank you, Noel, for all your time. If you guys want to check out my videos and everything, just go to my channel. It's Cephas Red. So I do have some uh, social media sites as well. I go on Twitter a lot. It's twitter.com slash Cephas Red. I also have my Facebook page at facebook.com slash Cephas Red, as well as my Tumblr page, which is askcephasred.tumblr.com. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you guys will enjoy yourselves watching my videos and my content. Please let me know your thoughts, uh, requesting games, over in the comments below of each one of my videos. So thank you all very much for watching i have a playlist also of my most popular videos as well as my horror uh, genres and things like that thank you all very much for watching i love you guys take care of yourselves over in the freedom community and we'll see you in the next video so but thanks again one and all high five Wow. There you go, Freedom Family. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to check out his channel, subscribe, like, and share with your friends. And of course, guys, don't forget to visit his social media. The links will be down below. Also, guys, if you like this video, don't forget to click that like icon. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts, insights, violent reactions, if you have any, in the comment section below. I will be reading. Don't leave this video, guys, without subscribing to Freedom Central and clicking that bell icon. My name is Noel, guys, and you are watching Freedom Hot Seat. Goodbye.